In my last video, I mentioned a severe battery draining problem in the Lollipop Beta ROM for the Zenfone 5. And in this video, I'll be talking about how to reduce this battery drain, of course, to a certain extent, not completely. So I guess that this could be due to the memory leak issue of Android 5.0 in which the app resources do not get freed, especially with the screen lock animation which is resulting in battery drain so I did three kinds of stuff and some one thing requires root so I'll assume that you have rooted your lollipop ROM because you know if you went through the hassles of changing your firmware and custom you know, side loading and another ROM I hope you'll at least root it since you already rooted your original KitKat firmware if you haven't so rooted your lollipop ROM there is a very easy way you know and the link for that will be given in the description down below so after you have done root there you can do three things okay so first you need to do is you know calibrate your battery because when you install a new rom it can you know you know fuck up your battery stats file which is you know stores your battery life so first thing that you need to do is download this app battery calibration this requires root so you need to like you know charge your battery to 100% and of course don't just look for 100% battery percentage because it can it can be wrong look for this millivoltage it should be around 4358 millivolts which actually means the battery capacity is full but you know keep looking at it if the battery voltage you know the millivolts value is increasing then it means it's still not fully charged wait for it till this millivolts value does not change or it just fluctuates between 58 and 59 and stuff like that so when that is done just click on battery calibration restart your phone and allow the battery to drain to zero percent after you have done that you know again charge it at one go without any breaks to hundred percent you know that will calibrate your battery okay so the second thing that you would need to do is you know move over to your task and actually do not let any app you know to run so you know task killers don't work here because you know if you use a task killer it will just kill the app and its processes and most apps like messengers you know text messaging apps you know data backup apps like onedrive they usually restart consuming more memory and more battery so don't use that you know if you're using messaging apps like i am here they have three you know like leave them and close the other apps you know keep this list as little as possible or you know just come or if it's possible just completely clear it off okay keep this list clean or just clear it clear everything off okay so when you're done with that you know just regularly just keep clearing the apps on the recent tray which actually also helps your memory usage remember clearing the apps from your app tray does not do kill the processes of the apps the background processes still run they just kill the current activity so say I killed the messenger app so if I head over again the activity will restart not the background process okay so but if you need to use a messaging app constantly at that point of time just delete the other apps and not that app okay so when you're done with that download an app called greenify which also requires root and you know hibernate apps which does run in the background but which for which you do not need any notifications form like book my show facebook photo ghana and iref paytm zomato i use these apps from time to time but i don't need live notifications from them you know hibernating messaging apps would prevent these apps from showing any notification so what this app does is you know it hibernates the app so you know you can of course open this app and it will work as it is it doesn't disable or freezes the app it just hibernates the app so that its background processes do not run just thus saving your battery and also your memory usage you can actually also check for apps which is using more battery and hibernate those apps remember hibernating apps prevents them from showing notifications Okay, so I followed these three steps and improved my battery life a lot. So I'll just head over to. Sorry, I got a call. Never mind. Okay, so I'll head over to battery, and 
I'll show you the battery percentage I have left. So it's 62 percent with an approx of 12 hours left. Now I have been out, you know, for college since 3 p.m. and now it's actually 10:19 p.m. as you can see. Okay. So I used, you know, I texted a bit. Okay. I read two to three PDFs from Google Drive. I also read some offline articles in Pocket and as you can see my screen time on time is almost 1 hour and 12 minutes so and it's still at 62% which means I'll easily get around two and a half to three hours of screen on time which is quite a lot provided the battery drain that was happening so follow these three steps you know root your phone if it's not rooted as yet Follow these three steps and let me know in the comments below if it worked for you too. You know, if you like this video, subscribe and hit the like for more such videos. You, know, you can also give me video ideas in your comments down below and I'll try to make a video on them. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.